because yes, pretty much just me in a cold park. What is it like if you're the reigning Tour de France champion and cycle for one of the world's biggest cycling teams? Well then, it's a whole lot more Balearic. And I managed to crash the Team Sky Mallorcan training camp to get a little taste of what it's like to find out how motivated Chris Froome is for 2016 and if Dave Brailsford ever takes any time off. Definitely during the winter, it's, it's sometimes quite hard to be out there on your own, but come down to Mallorca, sun's shining, it's certainly not a holiday. We come here all the way through December and January to take this hotel over. It gives us the opportunity, A, to make sure we know exactly where the lads are at, but also there's the group dynamic part of it. We've got new riders coming in, so you get the group together, you get people to spend time together and stand each other and do some drills out on the road so they actually ride together before they go racing together. Most people who come to Mallorca would see this place as a holiday. They come here for the beach, they come here to have a good time. We're on holiday too. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> is it ever fun? It is fun being out on the road together and, I mean, Sure, you get pushed to your limits doing the training, uh, especially some of the training rides we've, we've been doing recently. But at the same time, you all feel as if you're, you're in this together. You almost become really close mates by, by doing these kind of things together. How do you feel about the start of 2016? Personally, I feel as if I'm in a fantastic place. I've just re-signed a, a deal with the team at home. My wife and I have just had our, our first little boy. Uh, he's now four weeks old today. When you come away to a training camp, that's got to be a real a real drag on you emotionally. It was definitely harder to, to leave, um, knowing that this little guy's just there and I'm not. But at the same time, I think it almost makes me feel as if now, this time that I am away, I'm, I'm really going to make sure I'm not just going away for nothing. I'm really going to put in the hard, hard yards here. I'm, I'm going to graft, I'm going to really work hard and make sure that I'm, I'm doing it for a reason and I wouldn't want anything more than to make my little boy proud when he grows up. That's going to be there at the back of the mind when, when I'm struggling to get up a hill or finding, finding that sort of extra bit of motivation to, to turn the pedals over and I think, hold on, I, I want him to be proud of his old man one day. Dream year, I'd, I'd love to win the Tour again. That's my bread and butter. That's... Over Olympic gold? I've got to choose a tour at this point. For In our sport, the tour is, is the holy grail. They come to the start of the season and they, they'll have a hunger for the next year or a desire, you know, and, and some of them will be really hungry and some of them, you think, wow, well, okay, you know, where are they at with it, you know? So I do this hunger index, I call it. Ultimately, you've got commitment times hunger minus distraction will give you a performance. So you've got to make sure the hunger's there. They've got the talent. Chris is hungry, Kwiatkowski's hungry, Geraint's hungry, Lander's hungry, Sergio Henao's hungry. All the guys are out of contract, they'll be hungry for sure. What's your winter break like? I don't get much of a winter break really. You know, I had a bit of break, I was, uh, you know, on Boxing Day, went skiing for a week, which was fantastic, enjoyed that. Did you do any work? No, I didn't, no. Skiing, that was it. Loved it, and, and, and uh, even though there wasn't much snow. But I took my bike, I rode my bike four times or so there, it was fun, but um, yeah, back on it now, yeah, feel ready, yeah, I'm happy, you know. I haven't felt this good and, and, and up for it for, um, I don't know, a long time, I don't know why. Let's just talk about the media ride today. It's a great opportunity to, to give you guys uh, for a day a little bit of insight into how we work and what we do. There's one thing that's in a PowerPoint and all that kind of stuff, but there's nothing better going out and trying it, which is what we did. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm outside, um, about to take part in the Team Sky media race. It's a team time trial. I still think there's time for a contract. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting signed. Winners vomit, don't they? Winners vomit. It was only the fact that I had Rod Anningworth on a scooter beside me going, come on, try a bit harder. And I did, but oh, anything. Anything. Oh. <laughs> Oh God, that was hideous. Hold me. Oh, I've got to give it to you. you. You guys beat us fair and square, so well done. To let you know, if you wanted to sign me at my weight, which is over 100 kilos, you get twice the rider for the price. Yeah, <laughs> well, I heard it was a bit of a knockdown price at the moment, <laughs> so maybe it's a bargain. Talk later on. <laughs> so that is just a small slice of what it's like to spend a day at the winter training camp. Now, the other thing you'll find is the fact that here on the media day, you'll have the largest selection of British journalists in one place at any point outside of the Tour de France. So it makes sense to use their brains. Who's going to win the 2016 Tour? I would have to say 
Chris Froome. I want to say Chris Froome, so I'm going to say Chris Froome. Chris Froome will win this year's Tour de France. I think Chris Froome will win it. He just admitted to us, if he could have picked a, a route, that would it would look much like the one that we have this year. He's really taken on the mantle of leadership. He's learned an awful lot from last year in terms of everything that was thrown at him. The course actually suits him more than last year's with the, with the blend of time trialling and mountains. And I don't think there's anyone currently who can touch him as an all-rounder. Quintana will be hot on his heels, I have a funny feeling about that, and it's possibly Contador's last year as a pro. Um, I think he'll be pulling out all the stops to uh, uh, get back that tour title for one last time. I, I just think Froome is the dominant rider at the moment and he will remain the dominant rider. Uh, I also think for the sport it will be better. I don't really think we want to see Contador winning again. Why is that? Because he's a convicted doper. I think that the 2016 Tour de France will be won by Nairo Quintana. I think it'll be close between him and Chris Froome, but he's edging closer, he's five years younger, he's only going to get better, and Froome will start to decline at some point. The defining moment of the 2016 Tour de France, I think, is likely to be I think stage 18, the 17 kilometre uphill time trial. I think that second time trial, the slightly uphill one, he pointed to that as a, as a, as a defining moment. I think the defining moment will be the uphill time trial. Absolutely hardcore, purely uphill. It'll sort out the men from the boys. I guess it really depends on Sky's strategy, whether they, whether they employ the same kind of strategy and, and, and try and gain time early on. I, I think Froome will lay a pretty solid foundation for the victory early on and perhaps on Mont Ventoux, which is a mountain he really likes, the type of stage he really likes. I think Quintana will eat away at his lead after that and it could come down to those final few days. And that's it for this bespoke. I guess it's time for me to do the training part of the winter training camp. If you want to check out the five live podcasts, you can do that via the link on screen right now. It's time to get cold. Ugh. Man, it's cold.